On that Wednesday evening before Jesus went to the cross, he was eating dinner with his friends. He knew within 48 hours he would be in the tomb. The rest of the world was oblivious. Have you ever had one of those moments when your life was put on hold, perhaps a major surgery or the death of a loved one? And you're surprised to look out a window and discover the rest of the world is continuing on its merry way. You feel alone. I wonder if that's how Jesus felt that evening, knowing what he was about to face and all the while realizing that the rest of the world had no idea that the most important days in human history were about to unfold. Perhaps for us, it's a comfort to know that we're not alone. Right now, it seems the whole world is on hold. However, the feeling of isolation coupled with uncertainty can wreak havoc on your emotional state. Jesus was walking through his experience with no one who understood. Even though he was surrounded by friends, he must have felt very alone that day. And then a woman showed up. She broke open a large jar of perfume and poured it all over Jesus. Perhaps it was an odd thing to do, but it was an extravagant expression of love. The people there didn't understand. They considered it a waste of valuable resources. But Jesus set them straight. He said, whenever my story is told, this will be a part of it, and she will be honored. I guess that's what I'm doing right now. Many scholars believe the fragrance from her act of love was still in Jesus' hair while he was hanging on the cross. Her act of love lingered in his sense of smell, the sense that most triggers memory. When you perform an act of love, it lingers too. Instead of focusing on what you don't have today, ask yourself how you can show the love of God to someone. It might just be the thing that gets them through today and tomorrow and the next day. Thanks for letting Jesus shine. God bless you.